God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22.31 God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22.31 Sunday. Yay. We are back for another amazing story from our favorite book, the Bible. <laughs> so I'm Miss Anne, and this is Miss Kara, and, and of course, Samson. Samson. There we go. So welcome, guys. We have such a good story for you today. Um, this is a very true story about a guy named Jonah. So, what was his name? Can, what do you think, Samson? What, you know? Jonah! Yes, Jonah! So, here's the story. One day, God told Jonah to go to a town called Nineveh. So, if Nineveh is that way, what do you think Jonah did? Did he go God's way? Hmm, did he? What do you think? Right? Did he? Sadly, no, what? he didn't. He oh, didn't. No. Jonah went that way. He went his own way. Everyone say, oh, Jonah, not that way. Oh, Jonah, not that way. Ugh. Oh, so, hmm, can you tell, um, sorry. Jonah didn't go God's way. Instead, he got into a boat and he went in that opposite direction, opposite of Nineveh. Oh no. I know, Jonah wanted to do things his way instead mm. of God's way. Samson, have you ever done that? Has your, has your mom or dad told you to do something a certain way and you thought you knew better? Oh, he says, yeah, sometimes he just wants to do things his way. And how did it work out? 
Uh-oh. Uh, Not good. Not so good. I think there's a lesson in there. So, yeah. all right. So, Jonah, he didn't go God's way. So, while he was in that boat, guess what happened? What? What happened? Well, there was a really big storm that came up with a lot of wind. Oh, oh no. Can you guys rub your hands together like this? I don't know if you can hear that, so we'll add a little more. Whoa. And then it started to rain. Oh. Can you pat your legs like this? Ooh, yes, pat your legs as hard as you can. And it rained more Whoa. and more and harder and harder. Oh, man. So guess but what? Jonah figured out that God had sent that storm for him. So in order to save the other people on the boat, Jonah did something pretty brave. Can you guess what he did, Samson? Hmm. What, do you think? what did he do? Miss Kara? Hmm. Well, he threw himself into the water. Whoa! I know. Was it was pretty in a storm? In the middle of the storm. That was a pretty brave thing to do. Yes, that's very brave. Yeah, that was pretty brave. And guess what? What happened next? Well, God sent a giant fish to swallow Jonah. What? So, let me get this straight. It's storming, he jumps off the boat, the storm stops, and then a giant fish swallowed him? Yes! Whoa! We have an amazing God. So, there was Jonah inside the belly of a big fish. I have to imagine, what do you think that would have smelled like? Ugh, dark Ooh, and stinky dark in there. Dark and stinky <laughs> and very wet. But he, says he would not like that. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Me either. But, what do you think? So, now, do you think Jonah should have gone God's way? Considering everything that he just went through? Yes. Mm. I think so. I think so too. Wow. Sometimes we think we have a better way. Oh, yeah. But God's way is always perfect. And we can always trust Him. Yeah. So Jonah prayed and he told God that he was very sorry that he didn't go God's way. And then he praised God. And he knew that God's way is perfect. Perfect. I know, isn't that amazing? Yeah. And so when Jonah finished praying, God made that giant fish spit him out onto dry ground. Whoa. I know, isn't that That's a, incredible. incredible? It is incredible. And I bet he wished he could have taken a shower right away, but I don't know. <laughs> so those are details we don't get in the story. But now, do you think Jonah decided to go God's way after all of that? Would you guys just go God's way if all that happened to you? What about you, Samson? Samson says he would definitely try to go God's way. How about you, Miss Kara? Yeah, for sure. Yes, for sure. You know why, though? Why? Because, well, God's way is always perfect. Yeah, God's way is perfect. Absolutely. So, Jonah did go to Nineveh. He went that way. He went God's way. And guess what? The people there decided to go God's way too. Because God's, God's way, way is perfect. perfect. <laughs> so, wow. did you guys like that story? What about you, Samson? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think this is such a cool story. It's one of my favorites. So, if you did, children, give it two thumbs up. Ah, yes. And tell me, whose way is perfect? God's, God's way, way is, is perfect. perfect. That's the truth, kids. So it's time to pray. So let's close our eyes and let's talk to God together. Dear God, thank you so much for the story of Jonah and the whale and how Jonah learned a really good lesson that your way is always perfect. Lord, and that he ultimately went to Nineveh 
And because he was obedient, all the people in Nineveh learned that your way is perfect too. So thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that your way is always perfect. And Lord, that we can always, we can always pray and ask you to show us your way. So thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Awesome. All right, guys, have a great week. Thanks and we will for joining us. Absolutely. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.